I collect a few different things. Mugs, books, and socks. I kind of sound like an old lady, don't I? I just counted and I have 17 different mugs. Now, my philosophy is you can never have too many. My parents, on the other hand, are always telling me not to buy any more and that I have enough. In my defense, I do use all of these. <laughs> Before we hop into the video, I just want to say that I get most of my mugs from Home Goods, um, World Market, or as gifts. So I will try and link the ones that I can find down below, but I'm not sure I'll be able to find many of them. I'm just kind of a dork and I wanted to show my mugs off because they genuinely bring me so much joy. And just for reference, I'm a tea drinker. I've been drinking tea since I was a, a kid, honestly, but I've had a serious tea habit since I was around 14 or 15 and that is when I started collecting mugs. Obviously a few of them have broken over the years. There have been a couple casualties, but for the most part, I've kept them in good shape. I have all my mugs laid out on my bed rather precariously here. Um, we're going to start off with my newest mug, which is this guy. I am going to show close-ups of all of them. But this was a recent home goods purchase, and as you can see, it is a Minnie Mouse mug. And it says Minnie Mouse on the rim here. I love the shape of this one and the size of the handle. It also has all the little animators drawing notes as well as the sketches of Minnie Mouse. I got a matching Mickey version for my boyfriend, which might be the most disgustingly romantic, like, grossest thing I've ever done, but I couldn't help it. They were so cute. And these are from the sketchbook collection. I will see if I can link this below because they had a whole bunch of different characters. I just liked the Mickey and Minnie versions. Okay, this next one is another recent home goods purchase, and it's a tall guy. Um, really, I just liked the floral pattern. I am a sucker for florals and the pink inside. This also has a nice roomy handle. I hate mugs with those tiny baby little handles that you can barely stick a finger through. How are you supposed to hold that mug? I don't know. But this is from Sheffield Home, apparently, but I just thought it was adorable and a nice size. Here is a more standard mug. This one says, live slow, die whenever. And this was a present, I think for a Christmas, from my boyfriend, and it came with a little silicon sloth tea strainer. I just love this. I love the quote. I love sloths. Sloths are so cute and truly my soul animal. All right, this is one of my most fun mugs. This is from World Market a couple years ago or last year. No, it was two. And it's a little like gnome dwarf dude. I thought this was so cute. So he has a little hat and comes with a ceramic tea strainer, but he's a nice big old guy, cute little beard and nose with a little sweater on. This is so cute. You can find some really affordable mugs at World Market and Home Goods, which is why I tend to get most of mine from there. <laughs> He's just so cute. They also had a pink one of him, but I like gray. This is my other mug with a built-in strainer, and this is a, a handle-less mug. So it has a quote on it by Henry David Thoreau that says, live the life you have imagined. And this also comes with a cute little lid and a built-in strainer. So this is very convenient. And although it doesn't have a handle, it is very insulating and doesn't 
make your hands burn. So very cute. Um, it's by T Forte, and hopefully I can link this down below. My boyfriend has a matching one. Into Another World Market mug. This was a gift from my boyfriend because he accidentally broke one of my first mugs that I had ever collected and he felt so bad <laughs> um, and he replaced it with this guy which frankly I actually like better than the one that I had. It is one of what I like to call my giant bowl mugs because it's ginormous and I love it. It's really cute. It's like a giant teacup shape and has the stripes with the leaf pattern on the inside. Very sweet and really good for dunking biscuits into because of the wide opening. Another gift. This is one of my favorite mugs. I use this one regularly and this is of course a beautiful feminist We Can Do It Rosie the Riveter mug with polka dots on the inside. Just a really standard mug shape, except it goes out a little bit. And I don't actually know where this is from, but my dad got it for me because both of my parents and my dad have always been really great about raising me uh, to be a strong, independent woman, um, which I know is a cliche saying, but my dad in particular uh, would always make sure that I would read and watch things with, you know, really strong female characters in them, like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, um, so that I could, you know, have those kinds of characters as my role models and people that I kind of identify with. So basically what I'm saying is that my parents are awesome, and I don't know why I'm talking about that, it's just a cute mug. Speaking of my parents, this here mug is a gift from my mom, and it says love you to the moon and back on it. It's another giant bowl mug, which is fun because it has a smiley face at the bottom with little hearts around the rim. And again, I love these giant bowl mugs because they're so fun, you get a lot of tea in, and they're perfect for biscuit dunking. This is a super fun one as well. I got this from Home Goods not quite a year ago. It is by Rosanna. Um, and the only unfortunate thing about this guy is that it is hand wash only. Um, but it is so worth it because look at that little bear with the ears and it's got the bear paws on the back. I could not pass this one up and it has a really cool metallic handle. This one is rather sentimental, um, and it's technically my mother's, but she kind of gave it to me or she lets me use it. So it's a dad mug. Um, you're probably wondering why in the world I have this, or my mom has this, because obviously neither of us are dads. But this was my grandfather's, um, and I never actually got to meet him since he passed before I was born, but I don't know. I think it's just really sweet. My mom still has this, and it says dad has a special way of getting things done on the inside rim. Another frequently used mug in my collection is this clear guy from World Market. You can find a lot of clear style mugs on the market, but I like this one because He's big. <laughs> He's really not much to say. I just think it's aesthetically pleasing. Here we go with a mug I got at, I think technically I got it at TJ Maxx, but TJ Maxx and Home Goods are sister brands, and it's by the brand Kenzie Home. It is a skateboarding llama that says keep moving and has a pink handle with polka dots on the inner rim. I love llamas. Llamas and sloths and cats and bears and most animals, but llamas and sloths I hold a particular penchant for, especially related paraphernalia. 
This is probably the biggest mug I own. And it says honey on the front with a little bee on the inside. It's bright honey yellow. I love bees as a baby. That was my nickname. So even till this day, I'm still receiving and buying bee-related items. These two mugs were both gifts from friends. Um, so they're from Target, both of them, and this one in particular is from the Threshold line. It's a classic white mug with a gray handle and a little sweater. This is super cute and cozy, and I've definitely seen other versions of this with different sweaters at Target in the years since. This one is a red Be Bright Christmas mug that I got from my big at university. And no, I'm not in a sorority. Um, <laughs> she's my big in the Harry Potter club I'm in because I just really can't get nerdier than I already am. Of course I'm in a Harry Potter club. <laughs> Sorry if the camera shifted a little bit, but I realized I forgot a mug, I know. This guy was in the sink, so he is dirty, but it's one of my favorites, and it's a unicorn mug, obviously. Um, I love this, he also has a little tail, and I think I got this one at TJ Maxx or Home Goods. it's by the brand Tag. The only downside to this one is that the handle heats up. Um, but it's so cute that it's certainly worth it and I remember seeing this in different animals like a panda. So I'll see if I can find this down below. It's so adorable. We have two more mugs to go and this one is a little worse for wear. But he's so cute. So this is by uh, Tree Mugs, and I'm pretty sure it's from probably like Home Goods or something. And it has a tree bark textured pattern on the outside with a little hanging gnome friend who is missing a leg. He got uh, amputated, but it's all right. He's still he's still going strong, and he's so cute. He's so cute. We are on our final mug, and I have a special story about this one. So, let's bring them both in, shall we? You're probably wondering why I have two of these. Well, this was the original mug. Obviously, it is a Boston-themed mug. I go up to Massachusetts every single year to visit my mom's family, got this in Boston because I thought it was so beautiful. And it is actually etched, not printed, which I just think is gorgeous and has a navy blue interior. As you can probably see, it is all cracked and glued back together because I drove this all the way home, like 14 hours on the road trip from Boston back to Virginia. The second I got out of the car, I dropped the bag holding this, and it broke. I was so upset because this was a gift from my boyfriend, and I loved it so much. I felt so bad that I had brought it all this way and then broken it the very moment we arrived home. I cried while gluing the pieces back together. My boyfriend felt so sorry for me <laughs> that I was so upset. So he went online and bought me another one. He basically scoured the internet to find this exact mug and have it sent to me because I just loved it so much and I was so <sighs> unhappy. <laughs> All right, everyone, that is all 17 mugs that I own. I know, maybe you think that is excessive. Maybe you think I can afford to have a few more. And mom and dad, because I know you're watching this, 
you can't stop me from buying more books. <laughs> it's gonna happen. <laughs> All right, I hope everyone has a great rest of their day, and I would go drink some tea, but it is like 100 degrees out, and I am not drinking anything hot at this moment. <laughs>